Il-program Aranissa u rajtu l-dan iz-zeffin Bravo Malti Benjamin Spiteri Abel u jad xdejja u nekk fuq s-sufan ta' Aranissa. Benjamin, il-bale, bale, il-danza, il-sfin, kif beda, kif bdiet, kif inti ma' morċ sports, per eżempju, pħal huk, jow dentist, pħal missirek, jow kif sfin? As in originally, So when I started, I was just, you know, I was doing normal school. Sorry. <laughs> I was doing normal school. I was in St. Michael's. Um, and I changed school. And uh, when I changed school, I began to miss my friends. And conveniently, I had one of my friends who started dancing. So because I wanted to meet my old friends, I went to a dance school and I started dancing. And I started originally with hip hop. And then from hip hop, um, my teacher recommended you should do ballet because it like hits, like it's like the core of like, U bdejt ballet, basically. U l-mġurnata enti sirtu koll membru ta Sfin Malta. Yes. Ima, ma konċ tibza, għax aħna kol ħatijt ismar, illi għetit t-studja bix t-mur l-universita, bix... Ma konċ tajt isma jina għan ispiċa forsi blaxol, jow ma naqlax flus bizzejjet. I didn't mind what the outcome would be. As in, at the end of the day, I find... I'd rather do absolutely nothing and not get any money than be in a job where I'm completely miserable, I'm working long hours, I hate my life and what I'm doing, so I prefer doing something that's comfortable and I at least have fun. Oh, do you have fun at this fan? Yeah, as in, it's, it's, it's ups and downs, so like, the training is quite rigorous and sometimes it's very stressful doing what you do, but when you perform, when you finally display what you have and what you've been working hard on, it's a relief. It's like most things in life, where when you work really hard, you get to reap the rewards after. How did the ballet do at file it this? Pero inti, blingi se diju du fai, i du fai diju, tis vir inti, ze fin fil ballet, ovviamente inti bravo anka fi disciplini ohrajn, tħossok gburi li inti stabili xeitru hek issa fdak il ġeneru? As in, I feel like with ballet, with such a hard discipline, you never feel like you are... As in, stable, yes, I believe I am definitely stable. I have a good basis. But with ballet, it's such a hard discipline, you never stop learning. You're never not a student. You keep on going and you keep on having to work more on the technique and strengthen everything, so... Ma tinkwe taħx tajtun bat metaj kolli erba in jo hamsin, iċ sena amel, għax ma tistax tip għati sfen hajtek kolla? Yeah, as in... It depends. If you develop very well in the arts, you can still continue in the arts. So it could be either be through choreography or maybe you're a director, either rehearsal director or artistic director. You could still go down that avenue and like do more on the part of arts. Or if you really wish to and you want to catch up on monitor, um, money's sake, you could just go back to a different job. It depends. Jilin say you pass see what let them with Jazifna. 100%. I feel like most people have. Like, it's very hard to be that 100%. Aċi na metak elli 30 sekonda fi brillanti, fi l-opening ta' brillanti dance, 30 sekonda s-fejn, harġu min n-ruħ i harġu, bix niftakar il-passi u ger fiex ċifti, tiġi fiħri. Għara x-tamil, ek tinsa l-passi x-tamil? It depends on what type of dance you're doing. Cause if it's so specific, like when it's ballet, if you forget the dance, it's kind of game over in a sense because it's set repertoire, you're doing... Like, if you're doing Swan Lake, for example, it's set repertoire. People notice if you forgot. But if it's contemporary, you can blur the lines. So if it's jazz, m most disciplines, you could blur the lines depending on how strict it is to the repertoire. Inti, misri. Are you shy? Normally, yes, in life. To a, to a certain extent, I guess. Um, but not enough for the part, Kimma. The stage is yours, Kitty Dublinglis. Naraw ben differenti, ben meta tkellmu ek, kujiet meta nxi tkellem, imma ben jisfen, isek bnidem ġur li ma tibzaħx. Yeah, as in, it's different, because when you're the dancer, when you're the artist, you are in control and you're displaying what you want to say. There isn't much judgment, like there and then on the stage, so you have your own voice, your body is your own voice. So because of that, everything's in control and you can decide what you want to do. As in, there's still some people who are shy and even when they dance, they're afraid to display what they have. 
Depends on the type of person. Ana rai nik fi brillanti, em hafna mel judges anzi judges skolla qalu li inti andek talent enormi, mostruos, gigant, gigantesk, eh? U jay tan kattini li ya post veramen prestigious. L'esperienza ti akta brillanti kif kienet? Għaxem sirna na fu, kemal ta' kolli zaj, kemun bravo, kemun bravo, u kena min jajt illa huin, vera xaq tijir baħu. Għazin, it was interesting, it's as most things, highs and lows. And what took me, like, out of surprise was how choreography driven it is. Cause I'm not the best when it comes to choreography, to choreographing things. So it was very interesting cause I get to do something new, I get to create all my work. I'm so used to just being taught something and just giving it back. But this time, it was putting in me in a different position. I was no longer the dancer, I was the choreographer and the dancer, which was very stressful, very stressful, but it was uh, very fulfilling at the end because I learned a new skill now, so. Ben, forse tira una shi shi zaza, ho yei dumma, ila nishti, e kolli karra fisfin, shpari rittiom. What advice would you give them? I think just to start, in most things, you, people can talk a lot or people could dream a lot, but you just need to put your foot in. You need to start somewhere. And no matter what you do, it's as long as you started, you put your foot in, you could have done something simple. Maybe if you wanted to do a dance career, all it takes is you go to a party and you dance. You just need to start somewhere. As long as you start, the ball will start rolling. If you just think and dream and you say, it's only going to be a dream. It's not going to happen. شيء الأول لاخر حاجة اللي تعمل بين قبل ما تمر فوق البارك. depends on what I'm doing. depends on what I'm doing. it's very depending on the piece. because for example when I did don't stop me now, it was very energetic. so I was just hyping myself up. I'm just in the I'm backstage. I'm jumping. I'm just getting really excited. just Filling myself with energy, but then if it's something calm, I just need to put myself in the mindset like I need to relax, I need to zen out, I need to just let go. Am she zifna lite di nisht na mela wad naat ma milta? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, it depends. With depends what genre. Because I. Te ta ken nisht li nisfina di di varish nisfina. As in. Both in ballet and contemporary, I wish to do new things. When it's ballet, I would like to perform more solos, especially in front of an audience. And that's why I chose it like mainly for the final, because um, it's very rare I'm going to find myself in a lovely teaser in front of a massive audience performing a ballet solo. That's something really rare that um, it's hard to do and something hopefully I wish to do more in the future. Um, yeah, as in it would be a ballet solo or a contemporary solo, in fact. There's beautiful works from contemporary too. Min jispirak, em xa hattek li taris leho tej tahnishti in kum pal dak jo pal dik? Huh. I wouldn't say one person in particular. I have many. It, again, it depends what style we're talking about. Because like in ballet, I always love a dancer who is very artistic, who is not strict on just technique. And um, just, you know, everything's based off their physique. They're very flexible or they're just very tall. Like, I love artistry and I love when something is just showy. So, like, even Vasile, for example, powerful big jumps. He's a fighter. He, he's like a warrior when he dances. He's like very rough, very powerful. And how would you describe Ben Spiteri as a dancer? <laughs> um, in the works. I feel like as most people are, every dancer is in the works, but I feel like I am a collection of ideas that are yet to be translated into the body. And you have a lot of work in the world that you can do with the name of Dik. Do you have a dream? Do you have a dream? Dream. As in a company I admire and I would love to dance with that I'm working on will be NDT, Netherlands Dance Theater, it's a beautiful company. But it doesn't exclusively need to be that, it could be other companies, and if they do the similar repertoire, I'd love to do that. Or it could be a ballet company too, it doesn't, I don't like to stick myself in one position, I like to experiment until I go to the place, and when I go there I'm like, it feels like home, this is the place, this is where I want to be. And till I find that place, I'll keep on going everywhere. Issa jiet ma' Sfin Malta, il-kumpanija nazzjonali tal-Sfin. Dakuwa, 
post prestigious hafna. Tossok ek gburi le mek. Yes, yes, hundred percent. It's um, it's it's a surprise to be accepted in a company with such beautiful dancers. Like when I went into it, I was like very wary. I was like. Do I want to be here or do I want to do a bit more training? Because I did mostly classical training. I had done three years that was abroad in the UK that was strictly mostly on ballet training. And I was unsure whether I wanted to divert into like a neoclassical contemporary type of company straight away. But I decided to jump straight into it and take the risk, see how it goes. Look at Haris Lura, date Shamil Bideya, date Nisfen, yo date. Well, for the first one you said, I feel like every dancer has done that. If they see a video, you're like, oh no, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done this. You could, as dancers, it's... But in your life, in your life. Oh, in my life. Do you life. regret starting dance? No. You especially make this friend? No. Not at all. Why? And why? As in it gave me a reason. As in I feel like most people, if they don't live their life with reason, Oh, what are you gonna do? Like, you need something that's it makes you want to get out of bed and wants you to do something. And, and you, you've done it. Yes, I think dance is done very it. fulfilling. So, now we're gonna like Hafna, F, then I'm gonna show you the details in Malta. Grazie, Ben. Now we're gonna like Mil Alp. Grazie, I'm gonna like Vintish, tal, tal, pendent, to call it out. Yalla, tip a Bakhtar talent, as Nafli and the Trend Big Reel, in my call, and the Hafna Umilta. Udik, Yalis Bahaj, and the call artist. Ben Spiteri, grazie mille al. Thank you very much. Come now, hanno fatto al fitti reclami e poi mi ha accettato la nissa, accettato emozioni e poi.